Hello, hello, bonjour and buongiorno and welcome to Nexus TV as we uh, try to cater for our different types of viewers. As you guys will most likely be aware this is the Prague Challenge and this is Nexus consisting of MX G release, Husey and Rattlesnake and they're up against sexy girls or all stars who are on home soil with it being the Prague Challenge and they obviously are from the Czech Republic. And they also go by the name of All Stars, but they've called themselves Sexy Girls for whatever reason at the moment, and they've won the knife round, so fair play to them. And here goes nothing. The map is the Mirage, which uh, is also used to be called DCPL Strike on Counter Strike Source, and I'm not quite sure whether DCPL Strike existed on 1.6 or not. Um, so, yeah, someone's going to have to confirm that. But, anyways, it doesn't really matter too much now. Um, the two maps we've seen from Nexus so far here at the Prague Challenger are Dedos 2. Up against uh, a Swedish team Embrace and a Polish team Olsen. So, what are we going to see different? Well, the Mirage is a much smaller map, tighter corners, etc, etc. So we're going to see a, a different game altogether really. We're going to see more rushes more, more nades having more of an impact, teams pushing out like that, just as we've seen a Nexus push out onto this B-bomb type, release, kills Ludva, well, that it is currently in favour, actually he takes down Slan, so 3 versus 2 now, in favour of a Nexus, versus the home side, the Croatian side to be exact, release, playing in the corner, he's heard one of the CTs, Paul to be exact, Rattlesnake kills Thief with a bullet to the face, and release gets his third of the pistol round, Quite nicely onto the skull of Paul. And it's 1 0 to the away side, if you can call it that. The Nexus being British. It's the Nexus side, as usual, needs no introduction. As far as the Czech Republicans are concerned, um, no disrespect to them, but I haven't really heard of them. But it doesn't matter, let's see what they can do. We might see an upset. As uh, the Nexus, probably, it's probably fair to say they haven't been at their best so far during this tournament. I think uh, they won. They lost. They won. Sorry, their first game 16-10 against the Swedes, and then won their second game 16-8. So we've seen an improve. We've seen an improvement on Dedos too. It's probably an Nexus needing time to warm up and so forth. But anyways, let's take a look at what's going on. It's four on four. MX dropped. Actually, it's four on five. But Crooks is only on three HP there. He's watching B by himself at the moment. Paul's going to back him up, and that, and. Uh, the T's have actually gone quite slow, so it seems like the CTs think that the Nexus are going to try and go A. Go B, sorry. Little do they know that Rattlesnake and Co. are actually approaching the A bomb site. Rattlesnake making his way, walking noiselessly towards mid. Little does he know there's a CT right to the left of him. Hang on, he's just. Did he see him? I'm not quite sure. He's seen one on short at least. Takes down one. Sees this other one, sprays at him, takes him down as well, and he's going to see the third. He pulls his pistol out. Can he make it three? No, he can't. He pulls his knife out, and uh, usually comes from behind to save Rattlesnake, and the round is going to go to an Nexus. Nice antics there by Rattlesnake. Did very well to get the first two kills. Unfortunately, ran out of bullets in uh, both his primary gun and his secondary gun, but Husey came from behind to back him up. Good teamwork there by the Brits. And this is round three. Obviously, sexy girls or all stars, or let's just call them the home side, are going to have some minor problems at the moment. They're not going to have much to buy up, quite simply because uh, they lost the first two rounds. They're going to be short on cash. Release takes down Slan, who played fairly aggro there at mid. Rattlesnake has been working mid quite a lot towards this <coughs> A bomb site. He spots one of the CTs, spots another one. But he is currently on full health. He drops the bomb back. Let's take a look at what Hughes is doing. He's already got two kills pushing onto this A bomb site. Rattlesnake. Finishes off Crooks and Ludva is the last counter terrorist left. Two on one. He can still pull this off, but that nade goes to show that Anexus know exactly where he is. He's being pushed by Hughes. Can he make it three for himself? Yes, he can. Good shot by Hughes. Playing very well with that submachine gun. And this is round number four. We didn't see an early buy from the CT to try and catch Anexus out. So uh, I'd be very surprised if the CTs don't buy up now, since they should have enough money. As we can see, they have a few orps in some places, so uh, they can't afford to buy up. So let's see what we're going to see from a Nexus here. A 
about three of them going towards mid, and uh, Hughes and another player towards A. They're going to go for a quick A bomb site push. The checks haven't been able to hold on to the uh, bomb sites whatsoever. It's far too easy for an exit moment. Release drops Paul. Goes an all oh, good shot by Release. Takes down Crooks from behind. All he could see was his head, but that's all Release he needs to see. Just give him a. Uh, a little bit of your head to see and he'll finish you off. That is how good these guys are. Ludwig, the last CT alive. He's gonna go underground and save. He has an M4. So playing it safe. Probably the smart thing to do. I'm not very fond of the idea of going 1 versus 3 against Huz G, Release and Rattlesnake either myself. So, <laughs> makes sense I guess. I just hope that the uh, T's do not track him down. So, so far, main problem I would say is um, normally most teams have a Norpa here who watches down mid. And Nexus have been able to take mid far too easily, which has allowed them to come into A. They've been able to go in the apps really and push out of here, or it's actually over here. And they've just been able to take out the A bomb site too easy. So, we're going to have to see something new, something different from the counter terrorists here. And hopefully, we will. Um, money wise, they're all on M4s as far as I can see. Maybe one or two SMGs in a few places. It looks like they're going to stack A because. And Nexus have gone A quite a few times. Ludwig playing B by himself. He's still got no one watching mid. It looks like they're going to push mid, actually. Let's have a look at what's going to happen. MX with his P90 takes down Thief. Rattlesnake with the AK on the flag. Ludwig takes down Pauly. Rattlesnake with the second of the round. And now they're just looking for Ludwig, who obviously was a CT, went by himself to B. So the Czechs put literally three quarters of their team, four, four out of five players, on that A bomb site, and they still couldn't stop a Nexus. No excuse with regards to weapons. MX had a P90. And Nexus had AKs, whilst. Sexy girls or all stars had M4s. Good shot by Rattlesnake to make it five. And so far, an Alexis whitewash. And no excuse for the uh, Czech Republicans. They should have been able to deal with that push by Alexis. Not good enough, I'm afraid. And it looks like so far, Czech Republicans are going to have to really raise their game to see something new. But Crooks does have an AWP for the CT, so let's see what he's going to do. Actually, he's giving it to Stalan, so let's have a look at Stalan and see what he's going to do with this AWP. Looks like he's going to try an AWP mid, and this could work well for them because it's uh, an area that. The Czech Republicans have lacked. However, Stalin just peeks away at the wrong time. Just when Rattlesnake looked like he was going to show himself, he looked away. So, actually, the CTs have two orbs. Hang on, hang on. Let's see what they're going to do here. What are they doing? Anyways, yeah, done by now as the T's have made their way into that A bomb site. Once again, released with one. Rattlesnake with one. Husey with one. Deary, deary me. Crooks, however, does get a consolation kill. Rattlesnake, good shot. He's been on fire with that AK 47 of his. Throughout the whole tournament, he's pulled off some very, very nice headshots. And Ludva, once again, the only CT alive. I think he saved that M4 for the past three rounds in a row, it might be. I'm not quite sure, but. Um, Really, an excess by the looks of things will rack up their number of rounds up to six for round six. And uh, sexy girls or all stars will really have to look to uh, try and increase their tally as soon as possible. I don't think Mirage is really a terror sided map as far as I can remember, but T sided or CT sided, you shouldn't be getting whitewashed 6 0, especially at a land like this and when you're on home soil. As uh, I guess one could argue, oh dear. I think Ludva's inability to kill release there from behind pretty much sums up the uh, Czech side's performance so far. We're going to see an eco from the CT, so let's see how the T's are going to try and counter this, and let's see how, what the CT's are going to do. Looks like they're going to split normally, which is something I wouldn't recommend. In all honesty, looks like it's going to be a quick A push by an Exus once again. It's been a walk in the park for them so far, but... Oops, hang on a second, that nade went wrong by Rattlesnake, he just ended up... Um, hurting uh, release and MX quite badly. Rattlesnake jumps into the boxes, takes down Thief. And uh, so far it's a whitewash really from an exit. The CTs are just hiding. Rattlesnake with a second for the round. He knows that the CTs are between him and those boxes. Hood G kills Crooks with a bullet to the face. However, Ludfer with his second kill of the round drops Rattlesnake. Hood G with his second kill drops Pauly. And who's this the last CT? Ludfer once again. So, uh, not a good nade. <laughs> but uh, it was actually Hood G's pistol. So, uh, Three man by Hudson G there. Um, main problem. What is the main problem really? I mean, there's nothing really much to say. There's no, there's, there's, there's no resistance from the Counter Strike from the Counter Terrorists here on Counter Strike. Um, and X is far too easy. They're just making their way into A. They're splitting apps and um, the normal A ramp place. And CT is just hiding on the bomb site. You know, spread out a bit, get a few nades, make it difficult for a Nexus. Don't just sit and invite them onto the bomb site like that. I mean, granted, there are some maps like Beavis 2 where you can probably do that because of 
how the maps differ, but you can't really do that on the A bomb site here. You just get surrounded, and especially you know, when I don't know. But anyways, let's just hope the Czech Republicans do 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 something, to turn it around. If they look like they're gonna do a fancy boost here into the apps and try and take sexy girls by surprise. Oh dear, Crooks ran straight into the trap of MX. Uh, MX. There's him and Rattlesnake going to make their way into the A bomb site from a different angle this time. Where is the resistance from the CT? MX drops slam. Rattlesnake takes down Forlick. And is the bomb going to go down? Where's this last CT? Snake's playing from CT spawn. It looks like he's going to actually try and get a pick here. They will have heard him though. They definitely will have heard him now. That big loud green gun. And he's going to get tracked down. He probably shouldn't should have aimed to do different. However, he does drop Rattlesnake. Rattlesnake has a taste of his own medicine as he gets dropped by the AWP. With him being, obviously, being a, an AWPer. In the Counter-Strike world for his AWPing skills. And 8-0 for Anexus. So, so yeah. Really, Anexus of... of uh, I mean, what's, what's an appropriate term to describe how this game has gone so far? They've, 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 they've annihilate, uh, annihilated sexy girls. There's no other way to put it, really. Um, let's take a look at what they're going to do. Another A push. Thief, I went, what? That's got a P90. He's going to try and push an Nexus. Let's see what he can pull out of the bag here. He's, uh, is he going to push through that smoke? No, he's not. He's going to... He's, he's, uh, he's, he's come across three uh, Nexus players, however. He was just spraying and praying. Took down two. Fair play to him. And now it could be a turning point in this game for Sexy Girls. All thanks to Thief's uh, antics. It's two versus four. Let's have a look at Hood's G here. Uh, near the A bomb site, it looks like him and MX are going to try and get this bomb down. Release, sorry, drops, but Hoji gets one deed by Crooks. And Release is on this A bomb site, but he's waiting for the CTs to really show themselves. I think he knows one is in the apps area. He's hiding at the moment. 31 HP left on Release. Spots one of the CTs. Oh dear, oh dear. Gets him in the end. It's going to peek. Here's one of the CTs in apps. However, Paul doesn't seem to want to peek him or something along those lines. Either that or Paul has no idea that release is right underneath him. You can't leave release on a leash for far too long. Unfortunately, Slan took him down. But, but still, release, one versus four, managed to take two of the Czech Republicans down, which left it 2v1. 2v1 is winnable for a Nexus, is winnable for release when he has an AK-47 in his hands. And really... Two deaths in a 4v1. That's going to hurt sexy girls financially. So, yeah, they shouldn't really you know, be looking to die in a 4v1 situation. One death is probably acceptable, but anything more than that probably isn't. Crooks is up in mid. He's probably realised that no T's are coming mid. And Pollock drops use near this B bomb site. Release and co. Flash over the top into apps. And they surround this B bomb site. Thief drops on G with the P90. Release with a perfect name. Perfect name. Did, didn't hit Thief whatsoever. Thief is the third kill of the line. Release drops Thief. Two versus four now. What can we see from Release as nades are flying, being dispersed left, right, and center on the B bomb site. Rattlesnake drops Crooks. Slam drops Release, and Rattlesnake is alive by himself now with that AK 47 on the B bomb site. Three versus one. Spots one of the CTs. He's been dinked 13 HP. He's been surrounded. And Rattlesnake will get dropped by Slam. And 8-2, so Sexy Girls um, increasing their tally to two rounds now. So not looking too bad now. Hopefully they're going to get a bit of momentum. I think we'll see uh, an eco or a deco. Actually, no, the T's are going to buy. Quite confident, a confident buy from them, which is good to see from Anexus. I mean, without a doubt, you know, aren't the underdogs. The underdogs here are the Czech Republicans. Let's see how the CTs are going to spread out. The usual 1B, 2 mid, 2 A. Slam playing rather aggressive. However, he's going to get dropped. You can't play aggressive like that against this team and peek your head. They will uh, chop your head right off with their gun. Thief open here on the A bomb site. Just use takes now Paulic. Rattlesnake and Hunt G looking to commence their attack on this A bomb site. Hood's G takes down Thief. Crooks coming from behind. Rattlesnake knows exactly where he is. Can Rattlesnake take him down? He knows exactly where. Ludver is as well, so he's in a bit of a tough predicament. He does have the bomb, he throws it over to his teammate. Good choice. If he did cross there, the uh, CT probably would have taken him out with his AWP, namely Crooks. Down goes Rattlesnake. A bit poor by him, but well played by Ludver. Three versus two now. It's still doable by the Kamataris. If they do get this round, it'll be a, a very, very big round for them. Hoods G 
CT, takes down Crooks with a good shot with the AWP to the foot there, spots this last CT, he's been spotted by the remainder of them, and Hunter D will pull his pistol out and take him down, see you later Ludva, 9-2 to a Nexus, and that was the round Nexus wanted um, in the bag, the reason for that is, Clancy Girls are on a two round win streak, you don't want them to get too much momentum, you don't want a Nexus to have to deco or eco again, that will definitely cause problems, but yeah, Overall, Sexy Girls haven't been good enough. They've been allowing... Look at this, look at this. All of Sexy Girls pushing the A-bomb site and... Uh, and X is making their way onto the B-bomb site. Or are they not? Are they going to make their way through mid? I think they are. Actually, so, no, they're going to go and plant. Actually, they are going to make their way through mid. Let's take a look at what they're doing here, then. Release has the bomb. So, what do spots one of the CTs. Fires at him through the boxes. Doesn't do any damage, though. Spots another of the CTs and apps. Good scouting there by release. He does have the bomb though, and he has been spotted, so they will know that the bomb is at mid. CTs obviously will want to drop the bomb. Release getting shot down through the wall. Let's take a look at what the rest of the Nexus boys are doing. MX is actually on the B bomb site by himself, and he'll probably call this as being completely clear. Rattlesnake will to call it, but Rattlesnake obviously spotted now. Slam on 55 HP, trying to take him down with his pistol. He couldn't. Rattlesnake with his second of the round. Well played. Rattlesnake onto Ludiva. And it's four versus three. Rattlesnake couldn't get his third. Crooks takes him down. MX with the AWP onto Crooks. Three versus two. Let's have a look at the CT now. Slam with the pistol. Takes down Hussji. Well played, Slan. And all of a sudden, the three versus two is a two versus two here on D Mirage. The Slan makes his way towards short. And let's see whether he can pull this off. He has picked up an up. MX drops Thief. So it's two versus one now. I think Slan is going to look to save this up, and he will. Um, I was hoping he'd go for it, but probably a, uh, a smart and intelligent move by him, considering the CTs were decoing. I think it was an eco, anyways. So. Uh, they lost the round, but they got themselves a free AWP in the process, which will without a doubt help financially in the coming rounds. And you never know, sexy girls, if they turn this back round and get 10-5, you know, it's not going to be too bad of a half for them. But so far, really, an Nexus, they've overwhelmed the, uh, the home side and it's, they've just been far too good for them. But anyways, 10-2 to an Nexus, to the Brits, the uh, Czech. Republicans haven't been good enough whatsoever. Well, Snake making his way into apps. One of the CTs there. Second Pollock pushed, but it doesn't matter now because Hood, because uh, Husey, sorry, dropped him in the apps area. One CT down, four to go. Thief is already on on seven HP, and down he goes. Hood G takes him out. Crooks returns a favor and drops Hood G. Release onto Crooks and Slant onto Rattlesnake. It's going fast at the moment, but Slant is the only CT left alive at the moment. He uh, throws that bomb, does deal a bit of damage onto the bomb planter MX, but not too much. And at the moment, Slant is going to have to try and push this A bomb site and defuse. Is he going to? Is he going to try and wait for the T's to push him? I don't think a team with the experience of Nexus are going to push him and do that mistake. And MX did do that mistake, but unfortunately for Slant, MX was too good to. Uh, do the mistake at the end of the day and 11-2 to the Brits. Well so far Nexus slicing sexy girls in half pretty much. Only two rounds to the uh, Czech, Czech, Czech Republicans. Is it Czech Republicans or is it Czechoslovakians? I'm not sure. Um, uh, <clears throat> I never was good at geography but anyways that doesn't matter right now. Let's take a look at what the T's are going to do. Sending no one towards the A side. The CT's will have realised that. And Crooks will probably start preparing himself now. We're going to have a, a push both sides. MX will drop Crooks. Actually, he did. The second I said that. So, let's have a look at this push onto the B-bomb site here then. Use in apps. Looking for any hiding counter terrorist. Drops down from the window. He's going to stay in apps and try and uh, flank any CT's. Trying to rotate. Hoods G as well. MX holding that off angle, and so far it's just wait and invite the CTs into the bomb site, and that's exactly what Hughes did as he took down Paul and Ludva. We couldn't catch them, Frank, but it's not going to matter now. Thief by himself. Spot. Release. Can he take him down? Yes, he can. <laughs> but Hood's G from behind, from that little vent hole that uh, I used to dislike a lot when playing CPL Strike on Source. Gets the job done and takes out Thief. I believe it was Thief. It was Thief, wasn't it? Yeah. Rounds left, right, and centre for a Nexus. Nothing more to say, really. Probably game, set, and match. A Nexus already. You see, the problem, in my opinion, with the home side here, the Czech Republicans. A, they haven't been good enough. That's not good enough from Thief there. You're spraying like that. 
you know, you need to put your crosshair on Hughes' head if you expect to kill a player of his calibre. Um, and this is another thing. Look at Ludva there. He's just playing. He's just he's, he's hiding. He's allowing the T's on the bomb site, and then just spraying and hoping they can suppress an exit somehow. It's not going to work like that. You've got to not good enough. Not good enough. Anyways, Crooks and Slan now alive for the CTs. Three versus two. Three versus one. Slan. Oh dear. Got Rattlesnake in the end. But they know exactly where he is. Obviously now. Can he take down Hughes? There's G obviously in the apps area. Actually no, that was good Gene. Hughes is in the apps area. He's gonna try and track him down, but Hughes finishes off Stalan. And 13-12 to an Nexus. Very, very easy so far. And an Nexus obviously needs 16 rounds to win. Which means only three more rounds for them. And they will be the victors of this map. Which means they'll go into the next round where I believe the maps will be a best of three. I, I think so. Yeah. But anyways. So far. And next is eradicating the uh, players on home soil. And uh, I'll tell you what, all stars are going to really have to pull something out of the bag to try and turn this one around. But, you know, hope, why not? Hopefully uh, they can. And uh, it could actually end up being a, an epic game. But yeah, looking at the scoreboard, Rattlesnake 18 for 8. Release 16 for 6. None of the Inexus players on uh, negative kill death ratios with uh, an X, uh, MX on uh, KD ratio of 1. It's not really good. Mine's got 8 assists. He's contributing to the cause, and the uh, Kettle Strike is a team game. So let's have a look at how Inexus are going to play this pistol around. They're actually doing um, somewhat the opposite of what the Czech Republicans were doing. Um, but anyways, forget about that. MX and Rattlesnake both taking out two of the T's. Look at how the CTs are playing this. They know that this is a tight map. They know that, um, that they have better rain than the Czech Republicans. They're pushing them. They're getting right in their faces. They're causing problems for them. They have no idea MX is coming from behind. They have no idea he's rotating. Can MX get this kill? He probably should have got that kill by now. But he's going to be backed up by his uh, two friends. Well, obviously on the same team as him. And the last... Terrorist is dropped by Hoods G as well. Hoods G playing very well with the, that USP. I think he's been practicing with it. So fair play to him. Quite a few USP rounds so far this game. And it is round number 14. To Nexus. So. Probably see a buy around from an Nexus. Yes, that's exactly what we've seen. They bought M4s. They haven't gone for the. Yeah, they bought M4s. Why not? And uh, it looks like the T's are going to go for a quick B push, are they? They're fighting over who should have the bomb. Okay, let's have a look at this. Thief has a bomb by himself. So if he dies, basically, sexy girls are in trouble. <laughs> he has a bomb by himself. So they're all going to make a B push. So I think what's going to happen now is everyone from an Nexus is going to rotate the B bomb site. And Thief. He plans on planting on the A bomb site. He's gonna have to get a move on, and he was far too slow. Hughes and Hunchy have realised that. Hang on a second, the bomb wasn't spotted at B, and they've seen Thief now. And Hughes will drop him, and uh, Thief was probably a bit too slow there to really make the fake work. It wasn't a very good fake, granted, but you know, sexy girls really didn't buy anything up, and now they're gonna have to buy everything they can if they're gonna try and prevent a nexus from winning this game. And next only need one more round, so let's have a look at what Ludwig's doing. He's played relatively well. Who's the top fragger? Crooks, actually. He's the top fragger for the terrorists, for the uh, Czech Republicans. So let's have a look at what he's going to do. He's got an AK-47 in his hands. He's got the bomb in front of him as well. Hughes is going to approach him. Actually, no, that's because of the X-ray vision. It can be confusing sometimes. Actually, no, Hughes, hang on. Look at how aggressive Hughes is here. And well played by Hughes. He, he's only on 19 HP, but he got a kill. Now he's probably just going to fall back and, uh, and hide. Sometimes simply knowing that your team has a one or two man advantage, even though you're only on a few HP yourselves, can give your team such a good mental advantage. But anyways, two versus four, two versus five actually. Rattlesnake on three HP. Let's have a look at what Thief can do. He is the last terrorist alive. He has to pull off the five versus one clutch here if uh, he wants to really pretty much stay in this game. That nade hit him. So I think the CTs will have heard him, and there it is. MX takes him out. And uh, that is it for the game. 16-2 to an Nexus. Quite an easy game for them, but um, uh, not good enough, I'm afraid, from the home side.